Okay, so <clears throat> welcome to um, Midday Evening Prayer uh, with the theme of Native American Prayer. So I'm going to um, share screen and uh, open up with uh, some Native American chants to uh, call us to prayer instead of bells. So here we go. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> So welcome uh, to evening prayer, uh, everyone. And uh, we um, are going to be um, uh, praying Native American prayers. Uh, and I'm going to play some beautiful uh, Native American um, music, uh, flute music for meditation, specifically uh, uh, for Native American meditation. So I will um, have that in the background. Um, and we'll take our candle, if you have one. And I know you do, Brother Sean. And hi, Lynn. Welcome to Lynn. And uh, we'll light our candle with our two wicks that is meant to cross all the oceans in the world that separate us and unite us in prayer uh, and we ask God to bless his light to uh, open our hearts to the unique spirituality of Native Americans that's very connected to the land to Mother Earth to the great grandmother the great grandfather the wonderful compassionate, nature-based spirituality of the people who inhabited North America before the Europeans came and drove them out of their native lands, which happened in countries like Australia as well. And we pray for forgiveness for what our ancestors did, and we pray for reconciliation, healing, and doing the right thing to adjust the injustices of the past. So we pray for forgiveness. We pray, think of our day, of what we've done that we shouldn't have done, and what we've left undone that we should have done. And we ask for forgiveness. We also ask, thank God for giving us the grace and strength to do whatever good we were able to do today because we know it wasn't us who did it, but God acting through us. And we thank him for that grace, for using us to do good, whatever it was we did today. So we'll put our candle up. 
with prayers for our community, uh, town community, uh, those who are still with us and those who once were with us, who've taken another path. And we pray for uh, our friends, our families, our individual personal needs. We pray for the spirits of those who have passed on, that are close to us, hovering over us, watching over us, guiding us, particularly Magdalena's wonderful sister Rita, my dear friend Edith, and her niece-in-law who died suddenly of a heart attack just two weeks ago that I found out yesterday. Her name was Maxine, wonderful woman. And we pray for those who have no one to pray for them and all suffering in body and spirit. Let us be a light in some way to bring God's love and comfort to whomever we meet today. Amen. So we uh, will start with uh, uh, just a little introduction uh, about Native American prayers and blessings. Um, and uh, Native Americans, also known as American Indians, First Americans, Indigenous Americans, and other terms, are the original peoples of the United States. That sometimes includes Hawaii's and other territories. There are actually 574 federally recognized tribes living in the United States, about half of which are associated with reservations. Um, so these are the um, uh, indigenous tribes, including the Alaska uh, natives. Um, so um, we are grateful for their wonderful spirituality and we pray their prayers. We begin with the Native American prayer that starts, I give you this one thought to keep. I am with you still. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in ordered flight. I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not think of me as gone. I am with you still in each new dawn. For you are the one who does not hesitate to respond our call. You are the cornerstone of peace. O oh, great spirits of ancestors, I raise my pipe to you, to you messengers in the four winds, and to the Mother Earth who provides your children. Give us the wisdom to teach our children to love, to respect, and to be kind to one another so that we may grow with peace in mind. Let us learn to share all good things that you provide us on this earth. Thus I pause in this unending prayer, ending as was begun, with undying gratitude for everything you have given and for all that you have done. Wanish, which means thank you. This is a prayer of Blue Turtle. And we'll start our uh, hymn with the, um, the wonderful uh, prayer to the Great Spirit. And um, I will begin it now. Great Spirit, whose voice in the winds I hear, and whose breath gives life to all the world, hear me. Before you I come, one of your many children, I am small and weak, your strength and wisdom I need. 
Let me walk in beauty and make my eyes ever behold the sunset. Make my heart respect all you have made and my ears sharp to hear your voice. Make me wise that I may know all you have taught my people, the lessons you have hidden in every rock. I seek strength, not to be superior to my brother, but to fight my greatest enemy myself. Make me ready to stand before you with clean and straight eyes. So when life fades as a fading sunset, may my spirit stand before you without shame. Turn to our Native American prayers and continue. Listen, Grandfather, where I stand. Hey, hey, ah, hey. Lean to hear my feeble voice at the center of the sacred hoop. You have said that I should make the tree to bloom with tears running, O oh great spirit, my grandfather. With running eyes, I must say, the tree has never bloomed. Here I stand and the tree is withered. Again I recall the great vision you gave me. It may be that some little root of the sacred tree still lives. Nourish it then, that it may leaf and bloom and fill with singing birds. Hear me, that the people may once again go back to the sacred hoop. Find the good road and the shielding tree. Prayer of Black Elk a Pawnee prayer. O oh, eagle, come with wings outspread in sunny skies. O oh, eagle, come and bring us peace, thy gentle peace. O oh, eagle, come and give new life to us who pray. Remember the circle of the sky, the stars, and the brown eagle, the great life of the sun, the young within the nest. Remember the sacredness of things. Is a power animal song. Come to us, eagle, wolf, bear, and cougar. Dance we now, the power dance. Eagle soaring above the peaks, share with us freedom, majesty, and fighting skills. Teach us lessons we need to learn. Dance with us, the power dances. Wolf, cunning tracker by day or night. Share with us endurance, courage, and adaptability. Teach us lessons we need to learn. Dance with us, the power dances. Bear, trampling along eastern paths, share with us mighty strength and sense of smell. Teach us lessons we need to learn. Dance with us, the power dancers. Cougar, lonely tracker of terrains, share with us agility stamina and endless curiosity teach us lessons we need to learn dance with us the power dances movement slow movements rapid 
frenzy swaying upward downward dipping turning round and round dance we now the power dances dancing partners you and i with me in me i am you you are me together as one we separate to dance we now the power dances Awaken now, all spirit beings, to dance the dances with your human kin. Dance the cycles of life and death, hope and fear, good and evil. Dance the cycles now and again. Lower world, upper world, journeying now and forevermore. Of time and space, all is one. There is none. Dance the dances again and again. And for our merry prayer, we will pray to Mother Earth instead of the Magnificat. Mother Earth, hear your child. As I sit here on your lap of grass, I listen to the echoes of your voice in my brother, the wind, as he blows from all corners and directions. The soft and gentle raindrops are the tears you cry for your children. Teach me the lessons you offer to nurture my children as you nurture yours, to learn the lessons of the four kingdoms that make up this world of physical things, and to learn to walk the path chosen so long ago. Mother Earth, hear your child. Be a bond between the worlds of Earth and spirit. Let the winds echo the knowledge of the grandfathers who await unseen, yet visible, if I only turn my eyes to their world. <clears throat> Let me hear their voices in the winds that blow to the east. From the east, I seek the lessons of childhood, to see with the trusting innocence of a small one, the lessons of spirit given in love by our Creator. From the south, to learn the ways of questioning, the fire and independence of adolescence, the truths on how they help us grow along this path. From the West, where the grandfathers teach us acceptance of responsibility that come during the years of marriage and family, that my own children grow strong and true. From the North, where the elders, who by their long lives have learned and stored wisdom and knowledge and learned to walk and balance in harmony with our mother, the earth. Mother Earth, hear your child. Hold my hand as I walk my path in this world. Guide me to the lessons I seek. Bring me closer to our creator until I return to the western direction to once again enter the world of spirit where the sacred fire awaits and i rejoin the council of elders in the presence of the one who created all amen now we will uh <clears throat> pray um the our father uh, in navajo Hallowed be thy name. 
session with Native American prayers, so powerful and beautiful to hear the familiar prayers chanted in a different way. So we continue to pray to our great spirit. Great spirits, give us hearts to understand, never to take from creation's beauty more than we give, never to destroy want only for the furtherance of greed, and never to deny to give our hands for the building of Earth's beauty, never to take from her what we cannot use. Give us hearts to understand that to destroy Earth's music is to create confusion, that to wreck her appearance is to blind us to beauty, that to callously pollute her fragrance is to make a house of stench, and that as we care for her, she will care for us. Give us hearts to understand. We have forgotten who we are. We have sought only our own security. We have exploited simply for our own ends. We have distorted our knowledge. We have abused our power. Great Spirit, whose dry lands thirst Help us to find the way to refresh your lands. Great Spirit, whose waters are choked with debris and pollution, help us to find the way to cleanse your waters. Great Spirit, whose beautiful earth grows ugly with misuse, help us to find the way to restore beauty to your handiwork. Great Spirit, whose creatures are being destroyed, help us to find a way to replenish them. Great Spirit, whose gifts to us are being lost in selfishness and corruption, help us to find the way to restore our humanity. Amen. So in that beautiful prayer, we uh, close our uh, evening prayer um, and we blow out our candle and have a closing him to the wind. So as I blow this candle to you, I also will blow a beautiful song about the wind to you, to um, show, to uh, encourage you to ride the wind.
when the wind of the spirit blows warrior come on and ride the wind when the wind of the spirit blows warrior come on and ride the wind when the wind when the wind of the spirit blows, warrior, come on and ride the wind. When the wind of the spirit blows, warrior.
So on that note, I found the drum, Native American drum my son made in third grade. <laughs> uh, so just uh, accompanying the uh, wind, um, may the wind be at your back and may it blow all of us as strong warriors for peace. So let's go out and be warriors for peace. May the Lord bless and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and make you strong warriors for peace. Amen. Namaste. Om Shanti. Shalom. Salam. Shalom. Pax Bonum. See you on our next session. Thank you for praying with me, Brother Sean, Sister Lynn, oh, and whoever else comes. With thank you, Jackie. Okay. I love you. Love you. Good night, Lynn. Good night.